now let's focus uh, on the mainsail. I will show you how to how to reef the main. Normally we talk about wind conditions about about 20 knots, uh, two winds. So uh, keep going uh, upwind, uh, not being raised or downwind. Never do downwind because uh, the battens and the main can get uh, entangled behind the side stays. So always reef the main up and down going upwind. So uh, I will now, uh, the general sheet goes through the stoppers and this is uh, uh, specifically for this purpose. So now we can lock the general sheet so the winch is, is free for this, for other purposes like this. Peter, will you ease off the main, the main sheet? So now we go upwind like normally and uh, then you simply ease off the main sheet 100%, just let it go completely. And we continue with the Genoa. Then we have reef, reef one here, we have reef two over here. Uh, and both reef lines uh, are designed with a single line reefing system. So this red line goes up to the uh, sail, goes down inside the boom, comes out in the back and is fastened here at the uh, end of the mainsail. So it's a continuous single line reefing system. Of course, to reef, we then have to ease off the main halyard, which I will do now. Uh, don't just open the, uh, the clutch, that will harm the line. So I just pull the main halyard a little bit. So I open here, not to damage the halyard. And then I let the main go down. At the same time, I pull the reef line, the reef one line, and, and, and you see now it pulls down in the front and in the back, pull down here, and actually normally to make it uh, perfect, it's not done on this new bob, but normally we uh, recommend to put a mark on the halyard for reef one and reef two, so you just let the main halyard go to this marking. And then I simply pull down. Now see it's going down here and it's going down here. I just have to let it off a little more and that's it. So now you see that reef one is down here and then it starts to tighten the lock. And that's it. All this you can do in strong winds, even behind the spray hood. And uh, if you're sailing for a longer time, just pull in the slack of uh, reef two so you don't have this dangling around. So this is actually uh, the reefing system and it's the same with, the, with, the, with all our boats with the single line reefing system. It's very nice. To reef out again is basically the same procedure, reverse of course. So to reef out, I do it now. Upwind, I let the main go and I just release the, the reef one line and I pull up the main heller like before, but I, and then I have a little bit of resistance. Maybe you can pull this one, Peter, so. Yeah, voila, that's it. And we are back to normal sailing. And again, again, very important, I would say, I was about to forget. Remember to put back and the, the general sheet on the winch and open the clutch because if you start to make a, a attack now and you forget to open it, you, it all gets messed up. So that's it for reefing.
Uh, and I now want to explain you a little bit about how to roller reef the head cell. Um, on the foot of the roller reefing head cell, you will see on all our boats when, the, when you buy sails from us, that we put some markings on the foot of the sail. On this boat, there are two markings. On the bigger boats, there are three markings. Um, the, the general roller reefing system is like, it's a universal, so you can stop wherever you like. But we have just made these markings in the foot, so you have an idea roughly where you are. Because when you start furling, it's hard to, to see and to know exactly where you are. So these markings, we call them the first marking reef one and the second marking reef two just to make it understandable. And this also refers to our owner's manual, where we have this diagram, how to reef the boats in what wind conditions. So it's very, very, it's, this is very important. When you start roller reefing the head cell, it's very important that the car also, get, also moves forward the same distance, basically. Otherwise, you put too much load on the foot of the sail it's like <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you roll the reef and you don't move the car, it, it, it's like moving the car way back when you have full sail. Uh, so when you start roll reef in the head sail, also move the car forward. Uh, this is very important, otherwise you will damage the sail and not least you will damage, you will damage the head foil as a, the aluminium forestay. So um, let's give it a shot. I will let uh, this, this, the sheet go here and then I move it a bit forward, the, the car. Now I reached the further in general to the first reef. You see, by the first day, you see the first marking. Uh, and I also moved uh, the uh, traveler forward about the same distance, about 40 centimeters. And now I see how nice the headset sets. This is a roller reefing uh, jib and this will never set of course like a like a jib but our sails or on the drive flies are uh, the head sails are more flat and smaller than a monohull um, so it actually so the sails actually sets okay and this uh, fern general is also your storm jib so again you can reef it universal wherever you like and it's it's designed for it a small last detail while we're looking at the, at the head cell is that we have these leash lines where you can adjust uh, the leash. But you only, you, uh, you only pull this leash line if the, if the leash uh, is flattering. Then you, then you pull the leash line in, in this cleat. There's also a, 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 let's say, call it a leash line in the foot and this is more rare that, that this will start flattering but if the sails start flattering you can you can pull these uh, leash lines but only pull them if it's uh, necessary but and usually even if the sail is new we have the top sails <laughs> the best sails basically on the market but uh, um, after a short time you you need to pull the, the the leash line a bit so you don't have this flattering and this you do here from this pockets. Maybe to make this easier for you, you're also welcome to put a marking. So when you found your, let's say, right position uh, for, for the Genoa uh, cars, uh, make a marking here for full Genoa and a marking here for Reef 1 for the first mark and again a second mark here so it's quicker for you to uh, adjust the, the um, Genoa car. I often get asked uh, how hard can you push the boat. So now we're going upwind here, and I would say uh, normally the uh, up till you can use full full sail, full head sail, and full mainsail up to for sure 20 knots of wind. Uh, if you are new wind in, in, into tram lines, maybe you should reef at about 18 knots, um, 17, 18 knots of wind. Then you are completely sure. As another, as nothing will happen, but then you feel more secure. Uh, and if you have a bit of ex uh, marginal experience, uh, up to 20 knots is also no problem. But basically, the floats cannot be pushed underwater, but the floats can be pushed down, down almost towards a level. So if you have, a, let's say, about about this much, about three, four inches, about uh, seven to ten centimeters uh, 
of, of float left, this is where you have to, uh, to start reefing. But when you go upwind, this is not so much of a problem. Uh, like, a, like any other boat, any monohull or dinghy or anything, if you have a gust, just um, uh, point into the wind and you take the wind out of the sails. Or you can let the mainsail, you just twist the main a bit and you're also more safe and, and then you can sail up to, let's say, 22 knots. But around 20 knots is, is, is where we start to reef the main. And then uh, we have this sink line reefing system. If you just have, a, um, let's say, uh, a squall coming, so some uh, uh, higher winds just for, just for short time, you can reef uh, the head sail to reef one and open the main and you're fine. But if you have a, let's say, more long-term, strong wind, take uh, the first reef in the main and you are more secure. Uh, the boat is not faster, even if you have too much sail up. Uh, make sure that you control the boat and not that the boat controls you. And this is why we have made these uh, very uh, safe reefing systems. So with a single line reefing system in the main and also this roller furling a headset so it's very easy to 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 reef quickly because we have a with these boats with these very stable boats we have a, we have a lot of horsepower uh, in, the, in the rigging because we don't heal over like like the monohulls again also we can often ask how hard can you push the boat with with a spinning up uh, basically let's say if you have light winds let's say up to maximum 10 knots of true wind speed you can actually go beam reach as a, so you have the true wind from 90 degrees uh, in light airs only in light airs because when the wind picks up you get enormous power into the the apparent wind really generates a lot of power in, into the spinning group so um, uh, let's say in, uh, in 15 20 knots of winds you have to go deeper down and you can say that when the uh, when the lever float gets uh, gets almost down, that's that's when you want to to uh, to start to bear away. And always, if you are sailing in open landscape, as are in uh, in open waters, the wind is more steady. If you are close to to coastlines, you have more gusty conditions, and there you have to be more um, careful, alert, or what you say. So if you have a, a sudden gust you have a, a lot of uh, sail you have to, to, to take care of. So if you're in custom conditions, keep the sheet in your hand and make and be ready to, to bear off. And if you go into, let's say, if, if you are used to, if you feel, feel familiar with, um, with the Jenica going, going downwind, yes, you, you can go up to 20 knots plus, 24, going deeper downwind. But if you uh, here you have to be careful that you don't don't know stuff, of course. So when uh, when the lever bow sort of starts to get close to the water, that's why you have to to say, okay, we uh, back off here a little bit as a go go uh, bear off a bit or let the the spinning go. And for sure, if you have uh, if if you start to bury the the nose of the center hole, that's where you have to back out, and this is enough. So never have never <laughs> force the the bows of the, the float and the center hull on the water it's going with a spinnaker then you are pushing it to the limit but otherwise it's fun and just be ready to to bear off each of the sheet and it's very fun and again as i said before make sure that you have enough uh, leeway, uh, that's a, uh, that you have enough water enough distance to the coastline to leeward so you can bear off and take the spinnaker down with no stress. And, and, and this is very, very, very essential. And otherwise, it's great sailing.